Um, but my name is Daniel Hook. Um, I'm the director of the Moholy Naush Foundation, uh, which was founded by my mother, uh, Hatula Moholy Naush, uh, the eldest daughter of Lasso Moholy Naush. Um, the foundation is based in Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, which is a small university town just an hour outside of Detroit. Um, the activities are primarily to uh, support and um, uh, uh, support exhibitions and publications, uh, as well as uh, archiving and digitizing uh, the personal archive of Maholi Naj, uh, which is all based in uh, Michigan. Um, Berlin, uh, I'm also, I, it's an absolutely beautiful exhibition. Um, and I think it's fantastic that it's taking place here in Berlin, because Berlin uh, was probably the city uh, that was closest to Moholy. He was a, a, a very uh, staunchly uh, patriotic Hungarian, but I think, you know, Berlin for him was the city where he became a, a, a famous artist uh, very early after arriving from Vienna uh, in 1920. And it was the city where he met both of his wives, his first wife, uh, Lucia Schultz, Maholi, and then uh, my grandmother, uh, Sybil, um, Sybil Peach, uh, Maholi Nash. And yeah, um, there, it's really great to see the Hungarian uh, colleagues in this exhibition as well, because one thing that uh, Mr. Lochner already uh, mentioned was that Maholi did have this uh, infectious uh, enthusiasm, uh, but most importantly, he was an amazing networker. And so you have to imagine in, when he was in Hungary, networking with Hungarian uh, artists and art critics and writers, and especially poets, and then moving to Berlin and the large sort of extended hung, uh, Hungarian expatriate community, and then shortly uh, after arriving also with uh, important German artists, uh, there's a lot of uh, letters, uh, correspondence that we've uh, been able to kind of follow and see uh, how active he was. Um, unfortunately, Maholi died at the age of 51 in 1946, and there's a few really, there's, there's wonderful, it's great to see the, uh, the, the early Hungarian uh, works, but I'm also very excited about some of the, the drawings from 1945, 1946, where you could see um, kind of a, a return to expressionism or a biomorphic abstraction. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm so happy that uh, so many people turned out, and uh, thank you very much.